so welcome welcome to my channel so the past oh, the past week i've been doing a few videos but they've been mainly about mental health anxiety you know now let's do a light-hearted video shall we something that's fun um i know i've done this before but it's a different website it's like a random question generator for streamers so it's a struggling to come up with topics to talk about while streaming hit the button below to randomly generate questions so i'm going to put the link below and yeah let's just get on with it shall we let's see what it comes up with so you can actually make the questions change every three minutes five minutes or ten minutes or just click a button to generate a question so let's go so if you like if you like this idea give it a thumbs up give it a like you know what it is you know and subscribe if you're not already and check out my other channels i've got a link below to all my links so yeah fill in your boots so let's go to the first question what sport did you play as a kid it was mainly was it rounders the british version of baseball i played that a lot at school that was interesting i was never any good at it i was a bit naff really but i was never any good at sports anyway you know when it come down to sports days at school i'd hay fever so i was locked in a classroom yeah <laughs> so yeah that's that question answered have you ever purchased a bitcoin no it's, it's a scary thing for me because if i was if i was rich enough if i was a rich person i would definitely dabble in it but i can't afford to lose money i don't gamble i'm not a gambling person so i've never been interested in bitcoin no have you comment below what your experience is if you were famous what would you be famous for i think a personality my approach on mental health um my good nature just a general nice person yeah that's what i want to be famous for but famous nice people aren't really don't get that far because you need you need to find some quirks about someone to actually make them really famous you know that's why a lot of famous youtubers get backstabbed and whatever because people want to knock them down a peg or two why is lord of the rings trilogy the best movie this movie's ever made because it's a fantasy it's better than game of thrones better than house of dragon um it's just a general film about a race of hobbits just go on an adventure in a dangerous world you know i don't know it's full of adventure full of danger you know it's yeah it's relatable to some people and circumstances <laughs> yeah don't know but it, yeah it's a good question and the tv series as well describe the perfect tuna sandwich it's got to have cucumber in it tuna mayo um cucumber definitely because that gives it a bit of a crunch a bit of a different texture it's got to have that in it and and with me it's a dash of vinegar <laughs> mixed in with the tuna that's the ultimate cucumber and vinegar yeah definitely what is your happiest memory from streaming making good friends meeting people who who are youtubers who are on the same length, wavelength for you because in the real world if you you yourself are a streamer you know how many of your friends understand youtube you know there's it's only enough youtuber that can really understand the streamer and what they go through and what they have to do you know it's not just pointing the camera like this and filming it's editing it's that kind of stuff you know would you rather be able to run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles per hour i would like to fly at 10 miles an hour flying you could um i know it's not fast but you could fly over oceans you could fly over places running is okay but you would out but you can't run over the sea the sea will stop you flying i think you'll be able to abroad new eyes and i'm about to go to france about to go to belgium about to go to i don't know paris you know to, to, to fly in 10 miles an hour you could fly high up and avoid being seen 
That's that was why I would do it. I would I would fly. Yeah. What school subject is your favourite? Oh dear me. It's been a long time since I was at school. I left school in 1985, so I do not know. That's a tough one. I don't know. I can't remember. None of them were really that good because, yeah, I was bullied through school life. So, yeah, you are going. You are going sail around the world. What's the name of your boat? If I was to sail around the world, my boat would be called Esmeralda. Don't ask why. It's the first name that popped into my mind. The first name that popped up. I don't know why I thought it. But there you go. I was sticking with that. Esmeralda. <laughs> Esmeralda. The bells. <laughs> what would you name your boat? Would you want to go to TwitchCon? No. Have no. you ever been in a band? No. But I've know I know some people from Bizarre Inc. and Alternate. I know the main guy from Alternate. Um, yeah, before he was famous. Yeah, cool guy. <laughs> um, and Alternate is always wearing a mask. But in real life, you know, he's, uh, I don't know what he's doing these days. But yeah, and Bizarre Inc. I knew the manager of the grant the group Alternate. Um, yeah, fantastic. But now I've never been in a band. Never. Have you ever gotten poison oak? No. If you could add anyone to Mount Rushmore, who would it be? PewDiePie. <laughs> or Jack Septicai. They're the ones. One of them. Either side. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe Markiplier. You can go in the middle. You know. Good old YouTubers. What is the longest you have stayed awake? With anxiety about two days, three days at the most. Yeah, anxiety when it used to hit me really badly, you know. Yeah, three, three-ish days. What is the most embarrassing thing to ever happen to you? Right, this is a bit of a funny one. When I used to work in a bingo hall, um, there was a social club there and stuff like that. And one of the guys I used to call bingo used to do a DJ in, you know, mobile DJ. And yeah, we went to one of these, I went one time to this do for a certain um <clears throat> supermarket um not at the supermarket the staff had a staff do you know and they had a game of um adult musical chairs so it's a case of the women um blokes you know whoever was not sitting down not taking out of my clothing off blah 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 and i was left with just me undies on <laughs> and there's someone there that's got a photo of that this is when i was about 19 you know 19 i was I was young, you know, it was good fun, you know, those are the days. Wouldn't do it now, they will know. No. <laughs> anyway, don't tell anyone I told you that. Don't sh secret secret. Do you find yourself in a Star Wars universe? Which side are you on? Oh, this is a tricky one. It's gonna have to be Jedi. Jedi side. Um the good side of course, yeah. I don't know, some part of me wants to be a bad guy, but, it's, but I want to be a good guy, because I want to... Yeah, yeah. The Rebels. What about you? What would you be? What would you be? If you're into Star Wars. Have you ever fallen asleep in a classroom? Yeah, I think I must have been at school, yeah. Those are the days, weren't they? Jeez. What is your favourite candy? Well, what was my favourite candy was... Um, topics because i used to love the nuts in it great <laughs> i know that's the one line i never thought i'd say do you enjoy weddings not really no then the only wedding i've been to was when my mum got married to a well when a current husband we were up, you know when she was alive yeah i think i'm sure have yeah. you slept under the stars been camping yeah but it was in a tent top three movies yeah definitely the original of the time machine uh the original war of the worlds and let's pick a recent film top gun maverick there you go 
that's off the top of my head. If I took my time, I could think of different films, but yeah. What is the ugliest animal in the world? A duck bill platypus. Yeah. Never seen one, but there you go. If you could instantly become an expert in something, what would it be? Time travel. Time travel. Yeah. <laughs> would you ever do a 24 hour stream? If I had good internet, yes, I would do. I would love to do that, but it would have to be for charity if I did do it. But um, I need better, good internet, I need uh, where I'm not disturbed, you know, kind of stuff like that. And I need guests to appear, people I can just bounce off and stuff like that. But I would do if I could. Yeah. What is the best video game ever made? You know, I, might, I know it might sound daft, but the original PlayStation version of Wipeout, not the TV series Wipeout, it's a game where you're in a ship and you've got to fly around these, these tracks and you get one inside of you and it makes you dizzy. I I love the idea of that and the concept of that. I think to me that's the best video game I've ever played, ever made, so to say. Public speaking, love it or hate it. Depends on the depends on the topic. You know, I'm, I believe in people should have should be able to say what they want to say, but if it's going to hurt anyone or that kind of stuff, then no. How do your friends describe you? Kind, caring, uh, passionate. I don't know. Fun at times. Um, yeah. If you're one of my friends, if you know me, you comment. Let me know what you what words would you. <laughs> to describe me what was the best job you ever had <sighs> working at Orton Towers there you go I've got videos on that subject but that's the best job I've ever had and the final one um, favourite places you have travelled to I think Brighton and Bruges Christmas Market I think those yeah definitely them too yeah anyway peeps if you like that if you want to see more of this just answer some random questions um just comment below um i'm gonna start shouting out some comments in the future episodes so if you comment on this the next episode will do next whatever video will do i'll give you a shout out and yeah so comment like subscribe you know what to do and yeah, keep going and um, toodle pips, as they say, or as I say.